Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Brother Ray here on this July 21st, 2022. Um, I hope you guys are having a blessed day. I love you all in the name of Jesus Christ. You guys be blessed and be safe. And I and I pray that the Lord Jesus Christ comfort you and protect you. I want to go over a quick message here regarding Philippians 2.13. This is Paul to the church of Philippians uh, in Philippi. Um, and now what he was saying is this. And I take this in consideration because a lot of times we think that we are doing things on our own, like we accomplish things on our own and we start to get dwelled up in our flesh and take away the credit that God has, you know, God is the creator. He's the sovereign ruler to God, the creation of everything. And we start to, to start to put our own self in place of God. But in actuality, God is the creator, the manufacturer of all things. He's the giver of all things. And he give us all of our skills, all of our talents, all of our mental capabilities, all of our physical attributes. Everything comes from him because he's the one who created us. He he is we are like his image and his likeness of him. So we have the abilities to do these things because only by his will we have these things. So I want to go over Philippians 2.13. It is not in your own strength, for is God who is all the, the while effectively at work in you, energizing and creating in you the power and desire both to will and to work for his good pleasure and satisf satisfaction and delight. Prior to this one in, in 12, Paul was talking about working out your salvation in fear and trembling, not, you know, getting yourself uh, proud or anything, staying humble, staying lowly, having a, 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 a reference, a reverence of God as um, in a fear, not like a fear, like you're scared of like a monster or anything, but in obedience and respect and being aligned with him because it's hit by his spirit, by his will, when we receive Jesus Christ, that we're able to be able to carry out our faith and to be able to proclaim the gospel to other people and ever to be an example of Christ here on earth because we have his spirit. It's not by our own strength, not by our own creation, nothing that we've done on our own um, to get credit for. Uh, in, in actuality, we should be um, praising our weaknesses, knowing that we do need a savior, that we all fall short of the glory of God, and we do need Jesus Christ in all aspects of our life so we can carry out his mission and purpose for our lives, which is to lead people to him, which is to love people, which is to serve people, which is to um, do good in your communities, do good at work. Everything that we do is has to be a reflection of God in us. So no matter where we are, no matter who we deal with, you don't have to be the smartest person in the world or the most educated in the scripture. The best example, the way to live your life according to the will of God is to show it through your life. Um, be the vessel, um, showing the love of Christ, the grace of Christ, um, humbling yourselves, taking a lowly stance and being a servant of the Lord the Most High because he in the end will edify you. He will lift you up in the end. So it's nothing that we do on our end, but it's by his will and by his grace and by his love that we're able to do what we do. Um, like I said, we, we're we not a God. We're not the creators of the universe because we are mortal bodies, but our spirit is forever. But the one who gave us the body and the spirit is the most high is lord god so we have to always pay reference to that um always give him glory always give him honor always worship him always try to tell someone about him share him in your life with somebody doesn't matter who it is i was in the store the other day and i was talking to these young ladies about you know they were they were looking at candles within the dollar street and they were talking about candles of, of a St. Uh, Saint Peter saying that that was Jesus. I said, no, that's not Jesus. That's just a candle of St. Peter. And I just started to share the gospel about Jesus Christ. How, And they, and they were craft. One of them were Catholic. And I just said that um, Jesus Christ died on the cross for us. He's the one that atoned for all of our sins. Um, we worship Jesus Christ. And we give him all honor, glory, and praise. And without him, we have nothing. Without his sacrifice, without his blood, we don't have anything. Um, we are all redeemed through him, and that's where we should have faith in him. And then I said, you know, God didn't put us here to be at, at odds with each other, but he put us here to love each other, uh, to be to, to serve one another, and to be at peace with people. And the young lady was like, man, that's that's a good message, you know. That's um, 
that's awesome. She was like, Dad, I, never, I, I, I didn't think about that, but, you, you know, that's true. Uh, we do need that. And she was a Catholic, but that was besides the point. You know, I said, you know, it doesn't matter. I still invited her to the church to come, you know, worship with us. And, and, and you know, so I said, hey, we got people at USF, you know, you come to our church. And I invited them to Crossover Church, just a little, you know, friendly gesture, just trying to be, you know, polite and, and show the love of Christ. So it doesn't matter where you are. Um, you can still show the love of Christ in many different ways. You don't have to be like robotic or 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 in a perfect stance of, um, you know, putting it out there. Just use your life experience. Let the love of Christ use you in every way. Meet people where they're at. You're not a robot. You are human. You have a spirit that's within a body. You have a soul. So you 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 have that connection with other people. So people can read your spirit when you have a loving spirit, when you have a, 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 a awesome spirit of God, the, the Holy Spirit living in you, then people can definitely see that. And then what they do is they will be receive it because they know the spirit of God is in you. They may not know exactly what it is, but the spirit of God will move them people and it will move them in hopes that they will come to him. So let your life be the example um, that Jesus Christ set forth for us and love one another, show grace in worship, in fear and trembling, be respect in all to the Lord God, Jesus Christ, give him all honor, glory, and praise, and we honor him with all of our lives, honor him with all your lives, all of him with your soul, your strength, and love your neighbor as you love yourself. This is Brother Ray, Till next time, have a blessed day, peace.